sides as well as our own gauchos. See, almost so good like me. Yes, Lucky is about the best rider I've ever had on my ranch, senor. Is with the exception of Hopalong Cassidy. Cassidy? He's the one on the white horse, no? Yes. He is an excellent horseman. They don't come any better. In fact, anything that Hoppy does, he does well. Sort of Superman, huh? Well, I don't know. But doing things better than anybody else just seems to come natural to him. Well, I should think with all his ability, he'd be entered in some of these events. Well, Cassidy got his reputation doing things when things really needed doing. When a man does that, well, he just don't have to go around showing off. Okay. What are they doing with that cow? <laughs> <laughs> Why, that's a bucking steer, son. You know, they're the meanest things on four legs to ride. Hmm? That one is about the worst of the lot. Got a heart full of murder. And skin full of dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> there are people's ride on top such animals? Well, there are men that are darn fools enough to try. You'll see it right after intermission. How about joining me in a little drink while we're waiting? Con mucho gusto, senor. Gracias. Come in, then. Oh, there you are, Hoppy. Come here. Son, let's have lemonade all around. Hoppy, I want you to meet Senor Jose Valdez, a cattleman from South America. Cassidy here is my foreman. It is a pleasure to meet you, Senor Cassidy. El gusto es mío, Senor. Ah, muy bien. You speak Spanish, eh? Well, I'm not so sure about that, but my Mexican friends are kind enough to try to understand me. <laughs> and easily enough. This is my son-in-law, Ralph Merritt. He is also American like yourself. How do you do, sir? How do you do, Mr. Cassidy? Glad to know you. And this is my grandson, Ernesto. That's nice, Senor Cassidy. That goes both ways, son. Oh, are you what they call a policeman, Senor Cassidy? <laughs> <laughs> well, not exactly. Just when the marshal needs a little extra help. <laughs> and I, Senor, I'm Don Fernando Mario Lopez E. Ramirez. And I would like to go home. <laughs> he is my foreman. <laughs> See, I am overlooker. You mean overseer? Overseer, overlooker, same thing, senor. <laughs> I had to bring him along. He was worried for fear I would not buy the right kind of headstock. See, about cows, man, got to be very careful, wouldn't it? You don't need to worry. You come to the right place for good breeding stock. You do not know, Fernando. His chief occupation and pleasure is worry. That's why we call him El Melancolico. Oh, the worrier, huh? See. Si. <laughs> you know, it seems so funny to be shipping beef down to South America when you're raising such fine stock down there yourself. Some of the best. But we always try to improve our stock, if we can. Oh, I guess that's what we're all trying to do, huh? Segura, senor. It's about time for the rest of the show. You'll excuse me.
Got him. All right, Hoppy. Ernesto. <laughs> you all right, fella? Oh, you're a brave little man. If that had been me, I'd have been scared to death. Taking me too long to build the strain up. I'll tell you what I will do, though. I'll let you have half the herd. All right. We will call it, as you say, a deal. But you must deliver them to my estancia, my ranch. All right, we'll do that. Looks like you bought yourself some fine cattle, senor. Yes, and it looks like you're going on a long trip, Hoppy. How'd you like to go to South America? Oh, I always have wanted to see that part of the world. Of course, I'd hate to go way down there alone. Oh, I'll go, Hoppy. I'll, I'll be glad to go. <laughs> if you do come, Senor Cassidy, my home is yours as long as you wish it. But Papa Valdez, I would suggest that you look around a bit before you buy these cattle. Your son-in-law is right. Why don't you take a look? If you say they are the best herd, my friend, it is sufficient for me. Uh, what do you think, eh, Fernando? I am worried if we look some more, maybe these cow won't be here when we get back. <laughs> <laughs> that settles it. To say, Fernando, what if we will consider the deal closed? All right. Stay at the house, Hoppy. All right, Mark. Mark. You're not dreaming about those moonlight nights down in South America, are you? <laughs> no. I was just wondering why Merritt was so anxious to have Senor Valdez look at somebody else's cattle. Sometime I'll be able to ride as well as you at the end of my own yacht, <laughs> Tito Silencio. When he likes someone, Senor, he talk, talk, talk like a little parrot. Oh, let him talk. I like to hear him. So you're going to have a rancho of your own, huh? Ah, see. Si. Someday he own all Senor's ranchos. Oh, that's good. But I am worried. Again? Now it is something different. This time, I am supposititious. You're what? Supposititious, you know, when black cat run cross road or ladder, hit you in the back of head. <laughs> you mean superstitious. See, si, supposititious. Well, anyway, what about? Uh, uh, Tito, go find a bueno. They say, senor, things always happen in three times. Good as well as bad. Two have already happened. Yeah? Good or bad? Oh, bad. Very bad for family of senor Valdez. Within one year, he lose both son and daughter, Carlos and Rosita, by accident. And yesterday, saying, but for you, it would have been Ernesto. Three. How'd the accidents happen? Well, his son... Carlos, Ernesto's father. Wait a minute. I thought, uh, I thought Merritt was Ernesto's father. No, senor. Uh, senor Merritt, he have no children. Tito is son of Carlos. Poor Carlos. He was killed accidentally while cleaning gun. Well, they're bad things to get careless with. Carlos never careless. He was expert with pistola. How about his, uh, his daughter? What's her name? Rosita. She was Senor Merritt's wife. She was finest horsewoman in South America. Yet she go out riding one day by herself. Next morning, we find body at foot of cliff. So, you see. Now that most of the prize herd's gone by, I guess we'll have to start in all over again. <laughs> <laughs> well, we might as well be doing that as anything else, Lucky. Senor, I wonder what Fernando's found to worry about this time. 
What is it now, Fernando? I must tell Senor Hoppy about Carlos and Rosita, Senor. I was very sorry to hear of your misfortune, Senor. My son and my daughter. At times, it is very hard to understand the will of God. Those things are hard to figure out. Sometimes I think, uh... Mr. Cassidy, if you don't mind, we'd rather not discuss the subject further. Fernando, in future, you'll please hold your tongue. I'm sorry, senor. Rafael. What's that hombre so head up about? You know, Lucky, I like that man Valdez. But there's something about merit that bothers me. That's funny, I've had the same feeling about him. You have? Comentito, Senor Cassidy. I... I hope you will forgive my son-in-law. He has not been himself since his wife died. Oh, I know how you both must feel, Senor. We've been through some very sad times together, and he's very dear to me. And when I'm gone, he'll be the only one left to care for little Ernesto. What about the boy's mother? She died when he was born. I understand, senor. Gracias, amigo. Senor Valdez. Yes. See? We're starting on the trail with your cattle tomorrow. Then you have decided to be my guest. Oh, I'm so happy. Hasta luego. <laughs> Gee, Hoppy, I was afraid you weren't going to make that trip. What made you decide? Well, we've never been to South America. And we might find it very interesting down there. That chuck wagon moved from the cattle shoot. Press along to the big car He should be branded on the snoop. Press along to the big car Get along. foothills of Andes. Yeah? What's on the other side of those mountains, Freddy? More mountains. And I have told you the names is Fernando. <laughs> well, what's on the other side of the more mountains? On the other side is Chile. I know it's chilly up there. It's even chilly here at night. El Queda de Citrio. No, no, I do not mean that kind of chilly. I mean Chile. Chile country. Republica Chile. Chili cold, chili hot, chili country, chili pepper, chili everything. <laughs> Hoppy, he is dumb. Are you just finding that out? No, I have known it for a long time. 
<laughs> I guess that'll hold you for a while, huh? <laughs> Catfish, what was that? Ah, Melinda Monikita. Sentito, mi mi corazzo, Adia. Dolores, mi amor. Fernandito. Ah, Senor Huffy, Senor Loki. Ah, Seniors. My wife, Dolores, she cannot wait to see me. Ah, uh, Fernando, very lucky man. Come, my little one. Uh, come, my little pigeon. Cuidado, cuidado. Oh, cuidado. Oh, Fernando. Si, senor. Si. Americano? Si, senora. Disculpe, mi señor. Fernando, Fernando. <laughs> ah, mi amada, mi amada. Oh, Senor Valdez, he know you come? No, Senor Valdez. Pero yo I didn't think of him. All of you, my Fernando. Fernando de mi corazón. Oh, no, 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 no. Senor Valdez, he will worry about you. You must go back, go back. It is better. I am lonely. Please, help me put her back on mule. Back on. No, 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 no. It's all right. I'll ride ahead and tell Senor Valdez where you are. Oh, gracias, Senor. Gracias. Muy Lucky, will you get my horse? Uh, uh, now, gracias. which road do I take? Uh, por aquí, Senor. Uh, follow the north, right? Uh, yes. uh, very simple. I told you never to come here. Oh, but I miss you so. Why you do not come to the cafe since you got back? I was coming tomorrow. We haven't time for this. Now, you'd better go before someone sees you. Ah! 
Did you bring someone here with you? Oh, no. Come out of there, I'll shoot. That won't be necessary, Mr. Merritt. Oh, it's you. Well, I didn't expect to see you for two or three days. Well, we made pretty good time. Did you bring the cattle in tonight? No, I just rode ahead to tell Senor Valdez that... Buenas noches, senor. Yeah, yeah. Cassidy. Senor Cassidy. <laughs> senor Cassidy, I did not expect to see you so soon. Welcome to our house. Thank you, senor. I rode ahead to tell you that Dolores is out at South Boundary Camp with Fernando. <laughs> so that's where she went. She could not wait to see him. <laughs> now, perhaps you'll go to bed, eh, Ernesto? <laughs> I'm glad to see you, muchacha. Gracias, senor. Come, chiquita. I have things to show you from America. That is the Indians wear. If you have left the cafe, chiquita, you are welcome. You are too soft, Papa Valdez, taking in everyone that comes along. I found this girl sneaking about the place. She says she came to see her aunt. Yes, I, I come here looking for Dolores. I thought perhaps you had come home to stay. Me come back here? Oh, no. I like my life. Then get along back to it. And don't let me find you hanging around here again. Chiquita! I don't want you to go, Chiquita. But I must go, Emilio. Come. Let me see you smile. Bueno, for that I give you un beso y un abrazo. Adios, Ernesto. Adios, señores. She's a tough one, that mujer. Come. Let us go inside. I think I'll see that she does get off the place. Ah, Senor Cassidy, buenos dias. Buenos dias. You rise early. The finest time of the day. Your room was comfortable, I hope. Oh, it's fine. Uh, Thank you. I'm just looking at your guns here. That's a fine collection. Uh, yes, they were my sons. It took him years to collect them. Uh, it must have. Say, hey, that's an old one. What kind of a gun is it? It's the kind the conquistadores first used when they came to South America many, many years ago. <laughs> must have been. Say, hey, that's a wicked-looking thing. Spanish, isn't it? Si, senor. That was my son's favorite gun. He used it frequently before, before it killed him. That don't look like the kind of a gun that'd go off accidentally. Perhaps not, but nevertheless, it did. This, uh, this is the bullet. This is the one that killed your son? Are you sure? I was there when the doctor removed it. And that gun didn't kill your son. What are you saying? You couldn't get this slug through that barrel if you tried. That was fired through a much bigger gun. But I, I don't understand. I, I saw the doctor... Senor Cassidy, you don't think that my son was... I thought so ever since I had to talk with Fernando before we left home. Que horror. Please. Please get Ralph. I, I must tell him. Oh, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't do that, senor. I don't think I'd say anything to anyone just yet. Not even Merritt. It uh, might upset him. See, si. See, si, you are right. You just take it easy, and I'll talk to you about this when you feel better. Gracias, amigo. Ernesto! Ernestito! 
Pero el hora de la siesta. Vamos, chiquito, vamos. Tú no has hecho una buena siesta. Ah, siesta no, Ernesto. If you say so, señor Happy. <laughs> Vamos a ser metido, vamos. Señor Cassie, more baseball later, señor. Yeah, more baseball later. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. You have won him completely, my friend. Now that goes both ways. Oh, did you find that lame cattle in the herd? No, they're all in great shape. We'll start branding the new stock tomorrow. Lucky of me, be glad to help you. Well, thanks. We have plenty of gauchos for the work. By the way, Cassidy, when you're ready to start back to the States, just tell Fernando. He'll be glad to arrange all the supplies for you. Thanks. Amigo, you're not planning to go so soon. Why, I hadn't even thought of it. As a matter of fact, I might stay down here a couple of three weeks, kind of look country over. Might even stay here. Ah, oh, it would make me very happy, Senor Cassidy, to have you as a neighbor. Thank you, Senor. Try one of my cigarettes. Gracias. <laughs> tricks, tricks, talk, talk. <laughs> Come on, Ferdy, I'll show you some real tricks. <laughs> Senor Valdez, I, I know this isn't a very pleasant subject, and I hate to keep bringing it up, but that matter we were discussing, I... Uh... <laughs> What is it you wish to know, amigo? Well, I wanted to find out if... Uh... I was just wondering uh, if there were any strangers around today that uh, the accident happened to your son. We do not know. We were all in Buena Vista for the fiesta, and my son remained at home to arrange for a hunting trip with Ralph. Oh, uh, no, thank you. Then, uh, Mr. Merritt was in the house, too. No, he was in the city. He had gone the day before on business. Señor Valdez, el hora de la siesta por usted también. Siesta. She treats me just like Ernesto. <laughs> and just when I was so comfortable. Ah, uh, too bad. Hasta luego, amigo. All right. where accident happened to Senor Valdez's daughter, poor Rosita. Cannot understand the road is so wide. Say, was she riding a skittish horse? Skittish? Yeah, you know, scary. No, that horse, you could shoot pistol by his ear, he would laugh at you. Maybe something scared him and he jumped off. No, horse not go over cliff. Horse come home by himself. I suppose Merritt was away when this happened, too. See, si, see. Si. Sitting on business. See. Si. How do you know that? Oh, I just guessed it. Fernando. Is that Merritt's horse? Wait a minute. 
Who is this, uh, this girl, Chiquita? Chiquita? She is niece to my wife, Dolores. I don't seem to like her very well in the Estancia. Yeah. Well, she have good home with Senor Valdez, but she go away to sing in cheap cafe, Las Boliadores. She is silly fool. Sure you can carry it, stranger? You got to ride your horse home, you know. I'm not in trouble yet. Come on, boys. I'm buying drinks for the house. What are you going to have? Hey, um... Silly looking ornament. What are you carrying that for? Silly ornament, you say, senor? Hmm. I can drop men or beast at 150 feet with these voladoras. Oh. Well, what's the use to drop him if you got nothing to finish him off with? With this. I will finish him. Gee, I sure feel funny carrying one of them things around. Don't anybody around here carry a gun? If we don't care about the noise, we use a gun. But if we want it quiet and confidential like, we use a bully of or a sort of knife. Ah. Hey, Slim. Well, it's about time you dropped in to see us. Sit down. I may have a job for you. Another accident, huh? Yeah, one might be necessary, if that American you were talking to keeps hanging around here. Is that Cassidy? The man Chiquita told us about? Well, it wasn't his mother. Well, he seemed friendly enough. Yeah, a little too friendly, if you ask me. But he isn't fooling anybody. He doesn't like me any more than I like him. I just caught him hanging around the cliff. What do you think he's looking for? Yeah, wildflowers, perhaps. He suggested that I go on a hunting trip. I wonder why. You think he suspects you? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. Now, you clear out of here. Hello, Chiquita. I want you to do something for me. Do it yourself. Oh, still angry about last night, huh? I do not like the way you spoke about me in front of Senor Valdez and the Americano. But I said what I did because the old man mustn't know that I am, well, interested in you. At least not yet. Why not? If I am to be your wife and the lady of the Estancia someday, why should he not know you care for me? Because he thinks I'm still grieving for his daughter, don't you see? She was a fine woman. Of course she was. Can I help it if I loved you instead of her? She was very kind to me. I met her two days before the terrible accident. And she called and waved, hello, just as I was as grand lady as her. And you will be, too, if you do as I say. What do you want? This American, Miss Cassidy, I don't know how long he stood there watching us last night. Find out what he knows, how much he saw. He so much. Those steely eyes. I cannot look into them. 
I never saw a man yet you couldn't outstare, Chiquita. Yes, I know, but this one... One could not flirt with him, I think. Nor confuse him. But he's a man. I chose brand in these cabins. It is only five miles more. Only five miles more. And the name is Fernando. <laughs> oh, there you go. Now it is. Try and head off down the creek. Come on. bound to tell the kid. That means we gotta watch both of them. I'm for getting rid of that kid while we got the chance. <laughs> How about a dance, Chiquita? Go away, I'm busy.
Look, if you want a drink, I'll buy you one. Played right into our hands. Let them fight. Watch your chance and get them. We'll take care of that. Senor Lucky, it is too bad for you to do that. Oh, is it? Well, if anybody else here wants a taste of this, just let them start something. Take it easy, Lucky. I was just getting ready to do a little house cleaning. You don't belong in here. Come on with me. Then the rest of you fellas want to start something, come on outside. I'll take you on one at a time or all together. You talk too much. come from, we don't like people that throw knives at men's backs. That'll remind you not to do it again. Aha! Maybe that teach you not to fool with Hopalong Cassidy, eh? Get the lights. You're from the States, ain't you? Yeah. Well, then maybe you ought to learn a few things. We don't allow outsiders to come in here starting trouble. I wasn't aiming to start no trouble. Hey, you ain't Spanish, are you? Well, what of it? The Spanish people I've met are all real people. You've said enough. Now get out of here before I throw you. That's all I was waiting for. Champion. Worried? No. Let's go home. <laughs> Every time I turned around, there was Ferdy throwing punches. <laughs> Don't call me Ferdy. The name is Fernando. <laughs> Who taught you to throw your fist, Ferdy? Oh, I mean, Fernando. No one. I watched what you did and what Senor Lucky did. And what you did, I did too. <laughs> yeah, you did everything we did except duck. Look at that eye. Yeah? Well, it looks like you forgot to duck, too. Ha, 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 the Rio Grande River runs all along the border of Texas here. Yeah. Clear down in here to the Gulf of Mexico. Hello, Mayor. Now, right in here is what we call the Panhandle. Up in here is that. No, that's New Mexico. A little geography lesson, huh, Cassidy? Ah, uh, yeah, kind of. Say, uh, Merritt, I think we'd better call off that hunting trip. Well, it's too bad. Yeah, uh, you see, the uh, shells we got over in uh, New Orleans turned out defective. Well, I wouldn't let that worry me. We've got lots of guns and shells in the house. You're welcome to use any of them. Well, that's fine, thanks. Well, I don't think I'd be much good with anybody else's gun but my own. See, I use a 4440. You don't have to know anybody has any shells that size, do you? No. I'd be glad to look around for you, though, if you like. Uh, fine. That was quite a party you staged at Los Bolidores Cafe. Oh, yeah. 
I was sorry that had to happen. Say, uh, that's a pretty tough gang down there. Who is this fellow they call Slim? Slim? Oh, yes. No, I don't know him. I've heard of him, though. The gauchos say he's a killer. He certainly looks it, too. Hey, where are you going? What's the idea of all the heavy artillery, Lucky? Well, after what happened last night, I'm not taking any chances. Just let him start something now. If you think he's going to be in a danger, why don't you check your cartridges? They might prove defective, too. What do you mean? Well, I was just telling Mr. Merritt about the shells we got in New Orleans, uh, you know, about them not being any good. Gee, that's funny. Well, mine seemed to be all right. Oh, but you, you see, Lucky smarter than I am. He bought his in Arizona. That's what I should have done. No, I didn't. Hoppy, I bought mine in New Orleans. Same time you bought yours, remember? Oh, yeah, sure, I remember. Uh, son, I think your grandfather wants to see you. You better come on and help me fix my saddle. You'll excuse us, won't you? you open your mouth, you stick both feet in it. Hoppy, oh, you're not mad at me because your shells are bad, are you? No, I'm not. Come in. My shells are all right. It's just that you've got to be more careful what you say, especially in front of Merritt. I can't, Hoppy, if you tell me what it's all about. If you'd just learn to use your head once in a while, you'd realize that Valdez's son wasn't shot accidentally. Well, you mean Merritt, he... No, he didn't do it. But I think he had it done. Oh, it doesn't surprise me any. Well, what makes you think so? Don't you realize that he'll own this whole place if he just gets rid of certain people? Oh, I get it. Good. But if he didn't do it, who did it? Somebody with a 4440. That's the gent I'm looking for. It's like looking for a needle in a haystack. Uh, maybe. And I got an idea that gun's gonna be used on me before long. Come on, we better get out and get to work on that saddle before he checks up on us. You're not looking for a picture of Merritt, are you? No. Thought I might find one in here, that fellow they call Slim, or the other one they call Curly. Even money, they was both run out of the States for something. You go on and fix the saddle up, and I'll see you later. at you about oh i am so glad you know at first i think you uh, stuck up stuck up yes but when i see you fight that night in the cafe i said to myself uh, chiquita you're going to like that man so i did so i do so it's good <laughs> i want everybody to like me but i want to more than like you it's uh, none of my business but didn't Mary tell you to stay away from here Oh, that's nothing. Maybe if I were the lady of the Estancia, you like me better, yes? But you are not the lady of the Estancia. But I'm going to be. You wait and see. This Estancia? <laughs> Why not? Oh, I don't know. I just don't think Merritt's going to marry you. Who says he marries me? Well, I got that general impression from what I saw in the Paris the night I got here. Oh. Senor Cassidy, I like you. But I do not like people who are hiding in bushes. Glad to see you. 
What are you doing here? Oh, I just come to see Senor Cassidy. But I'm mad with him. Mad at Harpy? Yes. He was ashamed to speak with me. Why? Oh, just because I'm a girl from the cafe. Hoppy's not that kind of a fella. That's probably because he's got a lot of important things on his mind. Oh, then maybe I should not be mad with him. Well, what are these important things? Maybe I can help. If it is uh, helping you, too. Hey, maybe you could at that. Look, you keep your eyes open around the cafe. See? And if you see anyone with a gun like this, you let me know. Uh, will that be helping, Senor Hoppy? And you? Oh, yes, plenty. Uh, is this American gun, no? It's a Colt 4440. Be sure you don't let anyone know what you're doing. Oh, no. <laughs> don't worry. I won't. What's the idea of coming over here and starting a row with Cassidy? What do you mean? I only tried to get the information you want. Well, you certainly went about it in a bright way. Yes, I think so. <laughs> but I got him. Did he see us the other night? See? I was afraid of that. What else did you find out? He is looking for men with the American-made gun. American-made gun? Mm -hmm. What kind of gun? Oh, some 44, 44, I don't know. 44, 40? Oh, I think so. Oh. I see. I'll be with you in a few minutes. What kind of a gun do you carry? 4440 Colts. Is that the gun you use on Young Valleys? Yeah, why? You fool! Why do you think I gave you his own gun? What's the difference? I got rid of him before you did. That's not the point. If I'm not mistaken, Cast has picked up a clue that's going to put a rope around your neck. Gee, I better get rid of this gun. You better get rid of Cassidy. We'll get rid of him. We'll take the men right out there tonight, and while we're there, we'll take care of this pal of his. You'll do nothing of the kind. I want that to happen while I'm away, so I'm going to the city in the morning. As usual, Mr. Merritt will be away when accidents happen. You protect your own hide well enough when it comes to taking chances, Merritt. You get well paid for your work. Yeah, what with? Promises? You know very well I can't take care of you till I get control of the Estancia. Slim and I have talked this over. Yeah? There's a fortune in the strong box of Senior Valdez. Say, it'd be simple for bandits to ride down from the hills while you're away at the city. Yeah, and payment to us would be taken care of. Yeah. Would be too bad if something happened to Valdez and Ernesto during the raid. <laughs> we can take care of Cassidy before the raid. Chiquita, come here. I want to talk to her alone. Chiquita, get some paper. I want you to write a note to Cassidy. Tell him to meet you tomorrow. How do you know he will come? I have a bait I think he'll rise to. That 4440 he's after. You found it? <laughs> he lost it here during the fight. I don't want to see him again. What's the matter? Are you afraid of him? No. But I don't like the things he says. What things? Well, for one thing, he says that you will not marry me. Oh, so he's been thinking about that too, huh? Well, will you? Well? What? Oh, marry you. Of course, of course. It's about our marriage. I want to talk to Papa Valdez. But that's why I want to get rid of Cassidy for a while. Don't you understand? Now, now will you write the note? See? What's the matter, Carida? If I will find that you have lied to me... <laughs> what nonsense, Chiquita. I'm 
sorry, Cassidy, but I'm afraid we'll have to postpone our little hunting trip for a while. I have important business in the city. I'm leaving early in the morning. Oh, the hunting trip can wait till you get back. Say, you seem to have quite a way with the ladies. Me? I understand you made a great impression on the little girl that dances in Las Boleadoras Cafe. On who? Oh, oh, you mean that bad little Chiquita, huh? <laughs> well, the last time I saw her, she was mad in a wet head. Well, don't let that fool you. Better watch your step. When women down here fall for someone, they usually get their man. Thanks for the warning. Gee whiz. Hoppy gets all the breaks. Now, why couldn't Chiquita fall for me instead of for him? Ah, uh, you crazy man. Take a look at Senor Cassidy. Then take a good look at yourself. Well, what's the matter with me? Ain't I romantic? You. Ha! Ah! You young Americanos, you all alike. Senor Cassidy. A mozo from town just brought a message for you. Ah, gracias. All right, you men wait inside or we're ready for you. I'm leaving for the city as soon as we finish with Cassidy. Ralph! Are you going to go and see Senor Valdez now? Yes, of course. Oh, <laughs> they're just riding part of the way to talk business. Now, you meet Cassidy as we planned. Tell him you found the gun after the fight. Now, make friends with him if you can. Be sure and be there by 11.30. I will be there. Still don't see why you have to let Cassidy see my gun. To make it look natural, avoid suspicion. Well, I don't like the idea. Well, why not? It'll be the last thing he ever sees. What about Chiquita? I think she knows too much. Yeah, do with her as you like. See, what time is it now? It's about 11.20. What's the matter with you? Are you getting nervous? No, but I'll be glad not plugged him. Hey, who gets first shot? There'll be no shooting, gentlemen. So just take it easy. Why, you Get shaking. your hands up. You had this all figured out, didn't you, Merritt? But it's not going to work this time. 
All right, come on. Throw your gun down, Senor Cassidy, or I'll kill you. Good work, Chiquita. Now you've done exactly what they wanted you to do. Why not? They're my friends. If they are, then you helped kill Senor Valdez's son and daughter. What are you talking about? You're crazy. Isn't he, Ralph? Not as crazy as that. Drop that gun, Chiquita. Leave it, Chiquita. Drop it! What is this? Oh, why are you here? I thought you went to Senor Valdez to talk about our marriage. His plan doesn't include marriage, Chiquita. You see what's going to happen to me. Now all that remains is for him to get rid of Senor Valdez and Ernesto. He has everything he's ever wanted. The estancia, the money and the power that goes with it. Does that make sense to you? You mean... I see. Now I understand everything. I go to the estancia. I go to the gaucho. We have two rifles and two pistols in the wagon, Senor Cassidy. The ones can use them, come with me. But what's wrong, Senor? The estancia is going to be raided. Muchacho, the estancia, vamos a los caballos, los reyes. ¡Cato, cato! Maybe we'd be all right. Bridge? Did you say bridge? See, si, very healy there. Wait a minute.
Anybody hurt? No, just a few scratches, Hoppy. Oh, that's good. Well, it looks like everything's going to be all right. But I am worried, senor. You're worried? See, si. now I've got nothing more to worry about. Vaya se con Dios, senor Adios, senor. Adios. Adios.